house of the Lord. God is good. God continues to be good. And we continue to be blessed by what he's doing. Uh, at this time, we have Elder McCray come forth and do the prayer. <coughs> Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. We thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. For being here this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, in the name of Jesus. God yes. is good. Yes, Lord. And he's good all of the time. We thank him today. Thank you. We give him praise. Yes, yes. We give him glory and we give him honor. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord, Heavenly Father, we come by thanking you and praising you right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for waking us up this morning, starting, starting us out on a brand new day. Amen. Journey. Amen. God, we thank you, God, for our family, our friends, loved Lord. ones. Yes, Lord. Uh, in Jesus' name. We ask you to bless those, God, that are, are in convalescent homes. Yes. Those that are locked behind the prison wall. Hallelujah. Are those that are living on the street. Bless them. Those that do not have anything at all to eat. Bless God, we ask you to watch over their lives, God, in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. God, we ask you, God, to bless, oh God, every uh, place that's uh, every place that's given out food, God. Bless the people, the workers, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, God. Bless uh, the, the food lines, God, where the people are able to receive a prayer. <clears throat> Excuse me, a plate of food, God, or something to eat to nourish their bodies, God, in the name of Jesus. Watch over that individual, God, in Jesus' precious name, God. Watch over the people that are traveling over the dangerous highways right now. Every church, yes. every church, God, that's opening Hallelujah. your name. Rest them, God, in the name Bless of Jesus, God. Lord. Thank you for the word of the Lord that's Amen. coming Amen. from the preacher on today. On today, God, in Jesus' precious name. God, we thank you, God. We're watching over every children, every child, God, in Jesus' name, God. We thank you. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor, God, right now in the name of Jesus for allowing us to come into the house of the Lord one more time to lift up your name. One more time. To praise you, God. If it had not been for God on our side, where would we be? We would be ever so lost. Yes, so we yes. thank you, God, today for waking thank us up you. this morning and thank starting you. us on a brand new day journey, thank God. You, thank giving you the praise, the glory, and the honor, God, in the name of Jesus. God, thank you for our pastor. Watch over her, God. Keep her, God, in Jesus' precious name, God. We ask you, God, to bless those that are struggling with their jobs, God, to bless them, God, with finances. Those that are on the unemployment line, touch them, touch them in the name of Jesus. And God, we forever give your name all of the praise, the glory, and the honor in the precious name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We're going to have Donya coming up first. The first scripture. Let me, I got to check. I'm going to be reading John 3, 16, 17, and 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and yes. whoever sure believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 17. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him must be saved. Yes. John 3, 18. He that believed on him is not condemned, but he that believed not is condemned already. But he did he then not believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Amen. Great Amen. Good job, Daniel. Good job, Daniel. Amen. Yeah. Um, our sister Ebony French can't be here today, but she did send a scripture over for us. So this is from her. Thank you, Ebony French. This is Psalm 49, starting with verse 16 through 20. Do not be overawed when others grow rich, when the splendor of their houses increases, for they will take nothing with them when they die. Their splendor will not descend with them. Though while they live, they count themselves blessed, and people praise you when you prosper. They will join those who have gone before them, who will never again see the light of life. People who have wealth 
but lack understanding yes. are like the beasts that perish. Yes. We thank each and every one for giving them verses and uh, the prayer and uh, something from Ebony from uh, Tennessee. Nashville, she's in Nashville, Tennessee. She sent a word, and um, Nessa did, her sister did the words for that. Uh, uh, we can continue to be blessed for what God's doing. Dinah's on the video over there, she's doing her video, and uh, Elder McCray doing his, and Nisha safe and pray in place to practice. Dinah back in the back. And this is our uh, little grandbaby, his first time here. Amen. <laughs> Him. You know, he just, uh, we found out Keelan, he just three months old and he getting two new, two teeth in. Mm -hmm. And we're like, that never happened before, but everything's happening in, in, in the world today and it's coming faster than what we think. And so we just thank God for that and uh, he, he continues to be at peace with that because it's a hard thing trying to team, though, I'm sure it is. Uh, at this time, I'm going to uh, have a song. Uh, but just continue to pray for each and every family. Pray for, you know, everybody represent here, their families and their friends. And uh, pray for the ones that's been going through this virus situation. But we have to keep on being in place. Uh, we know things is opening up. And uh, open up still don't mean you just continue to do what you used to do. Because things have changed. And in order for them to change, we have to make the change ourselves. Uh, because that person next to you is not not being safe, you have to be safe yourself. So you have to remember that. You have to always be safe, safe for uh, the next person, uh, the person in front of you, behind you, the six feet behind you. Uh, that's just a blessing that um, we do doing, you know, uh, we shelter in place uh, ourselves in the house of the Lord, you know. But we still want to be in the house of the Lord, but being safe to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, just continue to uh, pray for each family. Because I know we got people going through different things, and uh, we know that uh, Bishop Haley and Charles have been sick, and pray for him and First Lady. We appreciate them. You know, pray for Bishop Hash from down in North Carolina. Pray, pray for all them. Great supporters of people, and you know, whatever we need, anything, we'll just call him, and he's always have a word for us, a random word for us, and we appreciate that. Pray for his First Lady also, and each, each and every uh, pastor. And, Elder and I don't know somebody, anybody that's in that service, pray for their families because they need to, we always need prayer. It's not enough prayer we don't need. We continue to need prayer. Uh, at this time, I'm going to have a song. Um, Don, you want to sing the name? I need to get a microphone. I don't want to get a microphone. <clears throat> And we just like to give Nisha, my daughter, a hand from North Carolina. She came up and we pretty give her a hand. We appreciate yeah, her coming yeah. out from North Carolina. We've been spending the whole yeah, week together. Yeah. And uh, she's been my friend and my daughter. She's been there with us. And Keelan, we've been with them all. And we just kind of being safe by being with each other, uh, practice our safety situation, and just, you know, uh, continue to be safe. We got masks, we got masks, and we got gloves, we got everything we need here. But that's a blessing. That's how God do. God's a blessing to our life. And Diane's going to get ready to sing a song. Okay. Amen. Testing one, two, three. Just follow me. You got it.
Put it in your soul. Keep it in your soul. But keep on identifying who you are in Christ Jesus. Identify the man of a woman of God that you are to step out on your faith and to believe in what God can do, what God can change in your life, how he can change it, what I need to do to be saved, what, how far do I need to go to be saved. Just be in Ask for repentance. Ask God to forgive you. Ask for forgiveness. And let go, let go and let God guide your pathway. Don't let man take advantage of that and guide it for you. Let God be the one to guide your, your pathway. As you know him, as you have that relationship with him, that as you grow, that you continue to be blessed. As you grow in grace. As you grow, not what you see by sight, but you see by what God's doing. The move of him. At this time, we may have another song or a testimony or something. Maybe somebody want to read a scripture. Uh, just whatever they want to read uh, for testimony at this time. You know, uh, we don't have a long time, but we just still want to reach out and, you know, just have a testimony in our heart because God is so good. And, uh, you know, I uh, know Elder, you know, he had a bad work. He worked at Sam's Club and the week might have been, might have been tough. And that's enough to testify about. I know me being at home, you know, a lot of times we have to keep on praying for, praying for that, we pray, praying for all of the workers. You know, a lot of times, you know, when we talk about praying for people in the workforce, we sometimes we don't pray enough. Sometimes we need to pray a little more. You know, uh, we, we pray for the nurses and the doctors, but when you talk about caregivers and nursing on caregivers and going to people's houses, you talk about CNAs that sometimes their name may not be mentioned, but they holding the fort down. And I'm not saying the nurses and doctors now, but the the the, the aides, they are, they are the biggest uh, people also that's holding the fourth down. That's right, that's but, you know, so we have to remember them also. It is so important that we remember all of the, the people that the nurses and the doctors out there. We have to keep on remember the caregivers. The caregivers are so important. They remember the, the CNAs. That's out there on that on that fourth. They out there too on that fourth, but maybe sometimes we don't say enough about them. But they out there also the nurses and doctors. So we have to respect them also and continue to pray for them as they do all these different things. Pray for Donya, her mom, and, and her household. Pray for their household and her, and the grandma and her auntie. Just pray for them and the sister. Just continue to pray for people that listen and they want to hear the word of God. Because we are here to do God's work and do God's business. And that's what it's all about God's business. It's not about us. It's about who God is in our life. Let me pray God a testimony at this time. Let me pray God testimony at this time. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're waiting. Okay, I'm coming, sweetheart. Okay, we're ready for a testimony. Anybody? Got a testimony? Jeremiah, we just keep here. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, the other day I just called my sister up. She's she doing good. Amen. I'm, first of all, I want to praise the Lord that woke me up this early this morning. Amen. And, um, you know, my sister called me and told me she was doing all right. My other sister, she's doing all right. Praise my brother's in, one of my brothers in um, New York, he's doing okay. Amen. And I want to thank everybody. I want to thank God for, for myself. Amen. Keep, keeping me away from a lot of people. Amen. And keeping me alive. Amen. And making sure I'm doing the right thing. And, and my brother, Walt, he's back in the hospital again. So I want to keep praying. Keep trusting God. Keep trusting God. That's all we can do. Keep trusting God. We know what God can do. The move of God. This is, this is time for the move of Him. Um, also, we just want to, you know, so, uh, cry out to Pastor Hugo, Hugh uh, McCoy, and uh, he's been sick. We want to send a prayer out to him. Uh, Robert McCray. Yes. Yvonne McCray. Yes, 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 yes. Yvonne and um, each and everybody was Louisa, David, to me, Jason, Jason, Cheese, our son had a birthday yesterday. We want to send a big happy birthday out to him and the Jeanette and the whole family. Just keep on praying. Tyree, the Keisha, and the baby, the, the baby. Just send a prayer out to them. Uh, that's what going to happen. And our testimony, our Don got testimony at this time. She got this. It's fine. 
Oh, look. I think I'll be in there today. Um, thank God for everything. You know, you got to remember the <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can take my prayer through here in this morning. Yeah, you need it right now. You'll be ready soon. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just like Donnie was. You'll be just like Donnie singing. Yeah, I'm going to get a new teeth in it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably ready to eat now. Yeah. No, I thank God for him. Thank God for my yeah. family. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I thank God for being back in, in, in the house. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I've been Amen. many places. I mean, been to the stores, but this is the first place you really want to get beat. Amen. 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 So I just pray for us. And we pray for you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I thank God today for being in the house of the Lord one more time Amen. to give Him the praise, the glory, and the honor here today. Thank God for our pastor, amen. Pastor Deborah, amen, amen. Uh, for all of the family members in Jesus' precious name, amen, praise God, our new addition uh, to the church, amen, praise amen. God, our drummer, our organ player, our singer, amen, amen, <laughs> everything wrapped up in one, uh-huh, he gonna be running around. Amen. Pretty soon they gonna be ain't gonna be able to catch him. Right. Wanna thank God for each and every one of you out there on today. Uh, thank God for Nisha playing on the drums. Amen. That's what it takes. It just takes faith. Step out on step out in faith. Amen. Amen. She ain't had no sticks over there, so she just banging on with her hands. Praise, Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. But we thank God for her uh, today uh, for. <laughs> Jeremiah, amen, praise God for Don, uh, for Don, yeah, she sung, she did good, she amen. sung, she sung, <laughs> she sung, she sung, amen, praise God, I wish I was able to really work with her, amen, through the week, amen, praise God, and show her some keys, and amen, praise God, but she does a great, great job, amen, and we want to thank God for her. Why was my little friend? Little Jaden? Yeah. Amen, he's... He, 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 he around. <laughs> he around. Hey, man, you got to catch him. Hey, man, you got to catch him now. I'm going oh, to catch him. I'm, I'm going to go get him. I'm going to get him. Hey, man, but we thank God for each and every one of you today. I thank God for my life up with strength. Hey, Amen. I'm going to tell you, um, what was it, a couple of weeks ago? A couple of, week, a couple of weeks ago, I, had, I was sick, wasn't feeling well. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Deb, she nursed me back to health, feeding me soup and all this stuff right that there, and uh, uh, giving me, feeding me some, uh, them, 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 what you call them, that drink, that creamy drink. <laughs> some kind, what was that? Glasodium. Oh, Lord, I ain't going to forget that stuff. Glasodium. <laughs> Amen. But, uh, I feel better today. Amen, amen. Amen. Feel better today. Glory. Feel good today. Feel good. Amen. Giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen. Just thank God for my life, health, and strength. Thank God for a job and each and every one of you that are here in the church on today. Amen. That's here in the church on today. I was at, uh, out in the body at the job one time. Somebody came up to me and said, um, they said, they said, uh, uh, I ain't no Jeremiah preacher on the radio. I said, you ain't no Jeremiah preacher on the radio. They said, we, they said yeah, we heard him. <laughs> said, we heard him. We heard him. He said, I, and you know what they said? They said, we liked it. And I said, y'all liked it. I know, but well, some people, you know, may like it. And some, I don't know. Amen. But they said that was so good uh, of an encouragement to see uh, that Jeremiah was on the radio. <laughs> I said, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Praise God. But we want to thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And thank God for the power that's in his name. My testimony being cut short by the preacher. So I'm going to sit down. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for you here today in the precious name of Jesus. One more song. All right. One more song. Service, okay. Um, we uh, entertain a 
Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue to be blessed. Yes. Um, y'all can pray Thank for you, Jesus. But praise God for your testimony. Praise God for Don's and Jeremiah's and Amen. myself and Don. We pray for um, our testimony is always in our spirit. And I always say when you, when you leave the house of the Lord, you say, "Boy, I wish I should have. I should have testified about what I what I should have did." And you know, a testimony is, is something that someone else may may have a problem with situations in their life. And that testimony that you give will, will help someone else in their life. And that's important that we do a testimony, but you know, we don't have to say a lot, but just say, you know, thank God, you know, thank God for, you know, having the spirit of a testimony that's in your soul. And uh, to know that where God has brought you from, from one week to this week. Now, uh, if you think about next, next, last Monday, and you hear another week, God has blessed you. That's a good to testify for as enough to say I thank you Lord I give you the praise I give you the glory for that it's a blessing itself
anointing fall on me. Amen. Thank God for you today. Give God the praise, the glory, and the honor in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Worthy. He's worthy to be praised, glorified, magnified, and adored. We have with us here a very uh, powerful and anointed apostolic gospel preacher, amen, that's going to give us some words from the Lord. We got an organ. We stay. She said, no, girl, so. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Pray you want to keep in the free organ for you today. He ready. He ready. He said, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Amen. But we thank God. Amen. Praise God. Can you imagine that? Keep it on the organ. Be sure on the drums. Down your singer. Oh, Lord. Amen. We got us a gospel group. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to thank God for you here today. Thank God for the little baby. Amen. Praise God. So precious. Amen. So, so precious. Amen. Praise God. We dad woke up. We had a, had a, had a picture made and put it on the mirror. She said, how did you get on the mirror? I said, keep it with us all the time. <laughs> he there all, you there all the time, little fella. You there all the time. Amen. We want to thank God for him. Amen. And thank God for you here on today. Now, at this time, we want to present to John. Amen. Praise God. And thank God for uh, Daddy. Amen. Amen. And Tanya. Hallelujah. And Jeremiah. And Misha. Everybody. Thank God for everybody. All your input today. Yeah, yeah. Amen. She was live here today yeah, uh, from, yeah. from North Carolina. Uh, I was, you were part of Charlotte, right? Yeah, yeah. I was telling the, telling the lady, I said, they had a storm down there in Charlotte. And I was telling the lady, she said, yeah, she said, I got family members down there in, in, near Charlotte, she said. She said, I said, okay. I said, wow. She said, we just got to keep praying for the people in Charlotte that they will be safe. Amen. And then there was a uh, dam that broke too. And it caused massive destruction. Uh, I forgot where, where, where it was at, but uh, you, you probably can look up on the internet. So we're praying for them as well. Amen. And then there was a people, I'm going to get out of the way to the path to come. There was a people that uh, they was driving down the road and they found a, a quarter of a million dollars, I believe it was, a million dollars at, on the road uh, in a bag. They found all that money and uh, they, they, they were trying to figure out what they were going to do with it. So they said, we just going to give it back. I said, oh, Lord. They gave back all the money, Jeremiah. They gave it all back. <laughs> they gave back all the money. And I said, well, praise God. You know what I'm saying? But at this time, we got our pastor, our senior pastor, that's going to bring forth the word of God on this morning. Amen. Praise God. So we want you to be praying, be prayerful for Pastor Deborah. To deliver the word of the Lord. Okay. Now, Pastor Deborah M. McCray. We praise the Lord again for just again being here in the house of the Lord and continue thanking Him for His blessings. Continue to pray for each and every one family again. We continue to be focused so much on that, the coronavirus. And, you know, we still got ill people that's still sick. And we still need to reach out to them also and pray for them. And, you know, call on the telephone, call somebody if you know that you, you haven't heard from them. Uh, make sure that they're okay. A lot of times they may not be okay, but we need to somehow reach out to other people uh, during, it, during this time because of the virus. Uh, I don't know why you're doing this. All about that, and our minds is focused on that. It's a lot of more illness no that's, that's accounted for. We, we continue to pray and send our blessings and anything that we could we could do, we would be there to do it in a safe distance that we're practicing. But we always can give you the word of encouragement. That's so important that we do. This one I won't be long before you, but I just want to pray and just uh, just asking God, you know, come into me, give me your words. Don't let them not be my words, but they be your, your words. So that we know that this is what we want to do. This is what, what he taught us to do, teach and preach the word of God. But know who you are to be able to relate this to other people in the house of the Lord, but continue to pray for our families, pray for each and every person here and represent here. I won't be before you long, 
because it don't take long to get the word of God out in this amount of time that we do. We want everybody to go to Revelation. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20. Revelation 3 and verse 20. We know everybody, you know, read the Bible, know the Bible, know all about it. Uh, whenever the Lord gives us a word, it's, it's a word that we need to hear from the Lord. And uh, we just keep praying and trusting God uh, that he give me the words that I need at this time. That, that I've been able to use the word like he wants me to use them, not like I want to use them myself. Uh, the word of God said, Behold, Jesus said, I stand at the door. And knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. And I'm going to read 21 to 21, first verse. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and I am set down with my father in his throne. So this morning, we're going to talk about. I'm, the subject, the topic is going to be, am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready for the word of God? Am I ready for Jesus? Am I ready for Jesus to come in, in my heart to, to be able to I be with him? Uh, you know, when a lot of times we talk about um, we got to be willing people to have Jesus to come into our heart, come into us. Uh, you know, we look at situations and say, you know, when you say when you're knocking at the door, uh, I'm going to come in if a man can hear my voice and I come, I open the door and I'm welcome. So a lot of times we think that I'm, I'm welcome to come in the house of the Lord to say, knock on the door. Behold, I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door. So as we say and open, up the, open the door, we say, what do we need to be to be saved? And that's that door. So, you know, a lot of times people say, well, somebody actually just knocking at the door and trying to get in. So if you think about knocking at the door, Jesus saying, come into my, let me come into your heart. That's what he said, let me come into your heart. Let me receive you into my heart and we will have that connection because I love you. So when we have that connection that, that Jesus loves us so much more than anything, he loves us. And so what we have to remember that when we say saying to come into the door, uh, come into when you're knocking and come in, he's saying, I'm knocking because I want to come into your heart. Right, I want right. your heart to be filled with the Holy Ghost, the, the Spirit of God, the Spirit that's in me, that's in you, and we will become one whole. Good, so man. when we say saying to knock, and everybody may be looking around and say, well, you know, he said knock on the door, and I'll come in. He's saying knock on the He's saying that he is Jesus, and he want to come inside of you. All right. So if he come inside of you, he's going to bless you that way. So if he's not there yet, and you say, well, I'm not ready to receive what Jesus has for me. And so we're not ready because we may have a broken heart. We may have things that's going on bad in our life, and we don't know why things like they are. And we're not ready because we said we want to wait. Uh, maybe next week I'll let you come in. And uh, he's saying, I want you right now. So we tell you, he asked, you ask him for repentance. You ask him for forgiveness so he can come into your heart. So if he come into your heart, that's how he's going to bless you. Because he said, I love you more than anything. Amen. So when you hear his voice, he's saying, you can hear his voice. But you said, but you have to be ready. To receive what God has for you. So if you're not ready to receive that, his blessings, uh, just to receive what's going on around you. But to saying, uh, uh, I didn't have a bad job, and I, I don't know why I don't have a job no more. And Jesus saying, so have you received me yet? So we said our, our life is dependent on oh, receiving boy. Jesus Christ. Our life is dependent on how much we love him, but how much we want to connect to him to change our life around. So as we're changing our life around, he said, you can receive me. Receive me in your heart, 
and my heart to your heart. That's how he wants to receive you. So if you receive him to your heart, to your heart, then you receive the repentance of uh, sin. You, you want to be you want to be saved. You want to know who he is all about him. And that's to give up everything you're saying. I love a new car. I love a new house. I, I love this. I love that. But he's saying, do you love me more? So if you think of loving Jesus more and say, you know, the songs have fallen in love with Jesus. How much can you get to say I fall in love with Jesus? So when you fall in love with Jesus, it's not another person like him that you can fall in love with. So when he said, knock at the, when I knock at the door, can I come in? So we saying, uh, we saying, no, this is a real door? Are we talking about? We talking about Jesus' heart to your heart. He said, when I knock, can I come in? And he said, well, I don't know. I have to think about it again. Let me, let me think about it now. Let me see what I can give up before I let you come in. Yes. And he said, uh, you want to give up, you need to give up, uh, you, well, you repentance. Go ahead. You want to give up a broken heart. Go ahead. Uh, give up challenges that you have. You want to give up people talking about ahead, you. you. People saying all kinds of mad things right, about right, you. Right, right. So I want to give up all them things so I can come next to you. So I know that, that I've come, your heart and my heart is going to connect with each other. Because that's who Jesus is. So he's going to bring you out of all kinds of things, difficult things in your life. It's not about the money thing that we're doing to be saved. It's asking for repentance, asking for, Lord, what I need to do to be saved. It's asking for forgiveness. It's asking for a blessing. So at this time, we need a blessing from the Lord. So I'm hearing from you, Lord. I need a blessing from you. So the blessing is what God's going to do in your life. The change that's going to make in your life. So if I change today, if I say, I want you all the way in my life. I want you all the way. I don't want you halfway. Jesus said, I don't want you step." This way and that way. I want you one way. I want your heart to connect my heart. That means I'm giving up all the things I thought were so, so much important in my life. I'm giving up the things that I know you have changed in my life. I'm giving up the things that said I thought was was great for me. I'm giving up bad men, bad people, bad women. Ahead, I'm giving up all the things that I know. But if I walk that that with you, yes. then I know I can suffer. I can sit down and eat with you because I know you want you want to you give me all what I need. So if God, if He gonna give you all what you need, what more can I get? What more do I need? So the devil always think he got stuff for you, and, and he don't. I'll tell you right now, but when you start that walk with Jesus, say, I won't turn around. This is who I want to be. If that, if I'm knocking at that door, I, Jesus said, I want to come into your heart. I want to change your heart. I want to change your life. I want to exchange your, your daily walk with me. I want to change who you are from the inside out. You know, you think of look at the heart, and when the heart beats, you see a heartbeat all the time. And you're thinking that connection with Jesus. That heart is being that connection with Jesus. But we thank God because what he's doing, when we say we want him to come in our heart and say, you know, a lot of times people may not understand to say, I want to knock at that door. And Jesus said, I want to come in. And he said, well, let's wait till tomorrow. And ain't no tomorrow promise to you. It's this day of today right now. You want to get saved. You want to get set free. This is the time to do it. Ask God for repentance. And ask, ask him for forgiveness. And let him have control of your life. You can't be no one-sided and this-sided. You got to be all the way for Jesus. You got to know him and say, I have that personal relationship with him. I know who I am in Christ Jesus. I know where he brought me from and what he brought me out of. We can't say we can hold back what God can do. We got to say we want to give it all to you, Jesus. When he said, I'm knocking, I want to come in after he's saying, I'm not going to come in, but I want all of you. I don't want half of you. I want all that, all that you, all of you. All, I'm telling you, all of you say, I can't hold back. I can't think about my money. I can't think about my personal life. I can't think about all that because I know if I'm wrong with you, I'm going to get the grace of you that's in my heart that you're going to give me. So if you're giving the grace of you in your heart, you said, I love you more than things. So when you say, I love you, you have to be careful with how much you say, I love you. Because a lot of people might say, I love you. Uh, you may have a boyfriend, you say, I love you now, and then later on, he don't love you. So you got to say, hey, I love you, but I know Jesus. He loved me forever. He would never deceive me. He would never leave me after to drive. The devil going to leave you out there and you ain't have anything. But with, with Jesus, you're going to have everything. So I flow with you. 
So when I knock, I'm going to open that door. So when you open that door, you say, I'm not going to take it back. I'm going to receive you because I love you. I'm going to receive what you will do in my life. The change has got to make. A lot of people think they in control of their own life. But if they really let go and let God have that control of their life, they are not the same people. I'm telling you today, Jesus is that one that's going to control your life because your, your thoughts in your mind is not going to even be about who I am, but who I am in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Who I am that have brought me from a long ways, yeah. that brought me out of all kinds of situations, but God. But brought me in, in places that I think I would be, but he brought me out of that. So when we think of him bringing us out of you say, what do I do? What, what have I done to deserve him? Because he loves you more than anything. He loves you with unconditional heart, unconditional love. So how many people can love you unconditional number, Jesus? How many people can change your life number, Jesus? How many people can go to battle for you but Jesus? So man go a little bit, but, but Jesus go all the way. God will go all the way with you. Man go a little bit. But when we think of today and say, now we have to remember when people say to us, uh, when we read that verse, Revelation 20 and 20, uh, 3 and 20, and, and it's saying, Behold, I stand at the door. And if I knock, if any man hear my voice, not any old voice, it's not the mailman's voice. It's, it's not the grocery man's voice. It's not the, not the person that you pay the car bill voice. It's saying you hear my voice. You you buy by my voice and open the door. So he said, open the door. It's like I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to say. I have I have a lot of regrets, but I have nothing to hide. If I'm letting you come in, I'm open my heart for you to receive you. Yeah. If I'm open my heart to receive you, I want what? All of you. All of you. I don't want half of you. I don't want half. I want all of you. So my life depends on trusting you. Yes. That's what it has to be. Trusting you, Jesus. I trust you with my heart. I trust you with everything I have. So we lay that out on the table. And all that stuff, all that garbage, we lay it on the table. And he, and he removing all that and saying, I trust you more. I trust you with all my heart and all my might. Because I know if it wasn't for you on my side, I wouldn't be here today to know this. But it's saying that I put everything out. But before I, you come in my door, I want to make sure everything is okay with you. Yeah. When, you, when, you, when I, you get in here, I'm going to be ready to receive you in my heart always and forever. Now it's so important that we we realize how much we need him. Yeah. It's you know, we're at the time where things is happening and we're saying we need to be on our knees more and praying, to seeking God's face, to, to seek who he is in our life, to say, I need you more and more and more. It's not enough, we don't need him. It's a time of prayer now to reach out and pray and keep praying. Don't get up off your knees. Sometimes we want to get up, don't get up off too fast. Because we get off too quick, we can't hear from the Lord. We need to hear from Jesus. We need to hear today from Jesus. What are we going to do to change our life? This is a change that he's going to make in your life. This is a change to say, am I ready? Am I ready to receive him? When he knocked at that door. And so a lot of people looking around that's not saved and say, well, it's a door. And he's knocking, but I don't hear from him. Because you're not seeking him. And you've got to be ready to say, I'm not going to do anything bad no more. I'm not running down the streets. I'm not running after women. I'm not, not running after guys. I just want to seek you, Jesus. So remember when you say that, you've got to be prepared. You've got to be ready to seek him. All, all you got, with all your might and all your mind, all that you got to seek Jesus. And that's what it's all about. It's, our churches, it's all about that. Our people, it's about that. We need to seek him. So when he do not, we should be ready. And a lot of people get mad and upset. So, well, he knocked, uh, someone knocked at the door, but nobody came in. <clears throat> That's but did you hear it from him? Did you hear it from Jesus? So you didn't hear it from Jesus. You did not. So we're looking for the visible door, like we always look for visible things. But Jesus is in your heart. And that's where he wants to be at, in your heart. 
Today's the day that the Lord has made, and we continue to say that because we're saying that this is a new day. This is a new season that the Lord has made. Open up your heart, open up your mind, and to be ready to receive him. This is the time that, that you need him more. Uh, if he's knocking at your door, that's in your heart. Open up your heart. Open that door so he can come in. But mean it with your heart. You have to be ready to mean that. You have to be ready to give up your ways, your evil ways. You have to give up and ask for repentance. Ask what it will take to be saved. What must I do to be saved? Ask for forgiveness. But continue to be faithful in what you're doing to yeah. other people. Yeah. Be faithful for what you're doing to other people. Because yeah. Jesus, he see all that. You know, when we talk about the braces that they had, what would Jesus do? And like I'm saying, I think I say, you know, everybody needs to be wearing one. Because when we make a decision, we, we need to say, what would Jesus do? And you know Jesus, when we, we do nothing wrong to you. You know he would not. So but we, we get in his mind to say, what would Jesus do if we would come to a situation that wasn't right and we didn't like it and it made us uncomfortable? But we still would know that because of the love of Jesus, the love of God. We still would know that because his father. We still would know that. So we have to get to in our life that position, that place where we depended on Jesus and God all the time. All the time. But today it says another day. So just continue to pray, continue to be blessed by what God's doing, what Jesus is doing when he's knocking at the door. Be ready to receive him. Be ready to receive him. This is a time that you need to be ready to receive who Jesus Christ is in your life. The change of your life. The change that's going to come. Uh, but be willing and ready at all times. And that's so important that we do that. So at this time, we're going to have Ellen McCray going to come back up and say a benediction. But we just thank each and every person for being here. Our Facebook friends, Robin Head, and all whoever else, and Ebony, Ebony French, and Trey French. Everybody listen. We continue to thank you. Donna, I think Donna may be listening, but we just thank each and every person that listens. We got people from North Carolina all over listening, but we appreciate them listening. But if that, be ready. Say to yourself, am I ready to receive Jesus Christ in my heart? Am I ready to give up the things that I like so much? Am I ready to receive his grace? Am I ready to reach out to him? Say, my heart to Jesus' heart is going to bless me. And that's how we have to go by in our life. That's what we have to give up. A lot of things. Things don't matter. God matters. Jesus matters. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Good job, Pastor Deborah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Good word. Good word. Good word. Amen. Good preaching. Let's give her another hand. Amen. Quick and powerful. Sharp on the day. Two-edged sword. Amen. Praise God. Great job, Pastor. Great job. Amen. A one double chain. Double chain. A one double chain. Has come over me. A one double chain. Has come over me. A one double chain. A wonderful change, a wonderful change has come over me. God will change your heart. Amen. He will change the way you think. All right. He will change your outlook on life. Hallelujah. When you hear it. Knock on the door. You know, every time you hear knock on the door, you don't answer it. Uh -huh. You don't answer that knock on the door every time you hear it. Huh? Every time you hear that knock on the door, you don't answer that knock on the door. Somebody's knocking, but you're not answering. you got to answer the call of God. you got to open up your heart 
and let God come in. Because sometimes you open up your heart, but you let other things come in, but it ain't God. It ain't good. It's, it ain't good. It ain't good. The goodness of God. Amen. Praise God. But we thank God today. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. For the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I can preach that path to devil. Not. <laughs> and the door will be open. Hallelujah. Not. And the door will be open. I said knock. Knock on the door. Somebody's knocking on your door. Amen. Are you willing to let God come in? Amen. Pray God. We're going to. Amen. Yeah, it's okay. You can let it down a little bit. Amen. Amen. We're going to take up an offering. I'll hear real quick. I know. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a up and back. Close out. We're gonna take a up. Huh? We're gonna close it out and we're gonna close back. Amen. <laughs> we wanna thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for the word of the Lord. Lord God. Amen. Praise God for the power of God in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Father God in heaven, we thank you for one day, God, you knocked on the door of my heart. And I was willing to open that door and let you come in. Amen. God, we thank you today for the word of the Lord. We give you praise, give you glory, give you honor. I can preach that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That was a great, great word Amen. from the Lord on today. Amen. We will thank God for my wife, Pastor Deborah, preaching the word of the Lord. Amen. Bless each and every one, God, in Jesus' name. Anisha, as he traveled over the English Highway, bless her, watch over Ebony, everybody, God, that's a part of our lives, watch over them, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, God, for Keelan, touch him, God, by your spirit, by your power, allow him to grow, oh, God, in the grace of God, like never before, with his father, sister, mother, all of them, God, that's a part of his life. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. Repeat after me. What I say to one, what I say to one, I say to all, I say to all watch, watch and pray. And pray. Consider yourself as God bless you. Thank you, Lord.